Hello and welcome to Quick Crop. Today I'm going to show you our Growmatic automatic growing tool. So I'm going to click on Growmatic here. If you're new to Growmatic, you'll be brought to the sign in page here where you fill in your name and your email and you need to make up a password to let you into the system. Now, the sign up for the first year it's free, so we click on this and we click sign up. Or if you've logged in already, you can go to log in here. Now, I've already done that, so I'm going to click log in here. Okay, we're in the Growmatic main page here, and you can see I've already put a couple of plants in, but I just want to bring you to the settings section and just show you how it all works. So I'm going to click settings up here. Great, now I'm in my account settings, and I can change my password up here if I need to. This is called notification settings, and this is where Growmatic will send you an email every week to tell you the little jobs that you need to do in the vegetable garden. Down here we have our school section and this enables schools to fill in their term times so they can easily see whether their crops fit into their term time or into their holidays. On the right hand side here we have a climate map and that's because sowing times vary depending on how northerly you get in Ireland and the UK. So I can fill in my region here of which planting zone I'm in and today I'm in Rugby in Warwickshire so I'm just going to click zone 3 and I'm going to click save. And we're going to go back into the Growmatic tool by clicking back to Growmatic here. So, how does Growmatic work? Well, you can see along the top here, we have a list of pretty much any vegetable that you're going to want to grow. And if you need any information on the crop, just click on the I button. It'll open up the database and give you all the information that you need. To move a plant into your growing control panel down here, you simply click on it and drag it across and drop it into this drop zone here. So we're going to do that. Now we can see we have our broccoli on the left hand side here and it's asking me do I want to seed now or plant now? And that's if I have a packet of seeds or if I have a baby plug plant. But I've got seeds today so I'm going to click seed now. A calendar comes up here and I can see now it's the 4th of May while we're doing this but I want to sow my broccoli a bit later so I'm going to pick maybe the 25th of May. OK, you can see that the system has set up a timeline for the crop and you can see it by scrolling from left to right with these arrows. Now, what do these timelines mean? Well, the blue line here represents how long a plant takes to get from seed through to seedling plant. The green line is the life cycle of the plant and the purple line is when to start to harvest it and for how long you can harvest it for. These little dots or icons along the timelines are jobs or tips and tricks that you might need along the way. So let's look at the life cycle of our lettuce plant here. When I plant my lettuce, this is the notification I get, and it's telling me how to sow lettuce. It's telling me, for example, that lettuce won't germinate over 25 degrees. So loads of really helpful stuff there, and then how to sow in modular trays. If we look at our carrots up here, let's click on a few of these. Okay, that's telling me how to thin out carrots. Okay. The next one here is weeding carrots, and you can see when we get to the end, click the little shovel here, and it's talking about harvesting carrots. So it's basically helping you every step of the way. The great thing about Growmatic is, as the name suggests, it's automatic. So it's working away in the background as the year progresses. And when this red line here, which represents today's date, hits one of these information buttons, it'll email you to let you know what you need to do. Now remember in the settings I said if you were in a school situation you can put in your term times and we can see as we scroll backwards and forwards that we have a white background here and a pink background. Now the pink background is where I've programmed in my term times. So I can see for example if I'm growing lettuce, if I sowed it in the middle of April there I can see that the plants, I'm going to be able to start picking them in June and they're going to be all finished just before the summer holidays. So really handy to see whether my growing fits in the holidays or whether it fits in the term time. There's loads of information in Growmatic so set it up for the plants that you're growing in the garden and let it hold your hand through the growing season.